next question. We've got a ratio question. Pause the video and have a go at it now. So, if we're asked for ratio, then we are taking that Ka expression. and rearranging it into the ratio form which looks like this once we've got to that stage we should be able to put our numbers in except that the first thing we need to be doing over here is converting pKa into Ka so we're going to do 10 to the minus 4.19 Now we can put our numbers in. So we've got Ka on the top, H plus on the bottom. So we're going to need to go back up here to find H plus. We can see the pH is 4.3. So remember H plus, similar to conversion for pK and Ka, we're doing 10 to the minus 4.3. that into the bottom of this expression gives us 1.29 now what that really means is 1.29 to 1 of salt to the acid all that we're really looking for on the mark scheme is this number. You would also get marks for the conversion of pKa into Ka and pH into H+. Remember if you get to a pH question and you can't think how to do it but you see a pH, convert it into H+, by using 10 to the minus. Again if you see pKa, convert it into Ka because you're guaranteed to get marks for doing those things and then after that if you get stuck if you're looking at this question, you're only going to miss one of the marks. In this example, we're dealing with a buffer. Again, we've been given the concentration of sodium hydroxide, so we're talking about neutralising the weak acid. In this case, we're not told what the weak acid is, we've just got HA, but we have got its concentration and a volume. So reading the question, looking at what else we've got, we've got a Ka value and we've got a pH. Pause the video now if you want to have a go at this question before I go through the answer. So first thing I'm going to look at is I've got a pH of 8 so if I can't do anything else on this question then I am definitely going to turn this into a H plus concentration by doing 10 to the minus pH which gives me an H plus concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per decimeter. And I will definitely get a mark for doing that on the mark scheme. Next thing that says, we're talking about what volume. So this links back to what volumes, what concentrations, what relative proportions, what ratio. So this is the ratio equation. So we've got Ka over H plus gives us a minus over HA. And all we need to do now is put the numbers into this equation. So we've got 4 times 10 to the minus 8 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 8. And that gives us an answer of 4. So the relative ratio of A minus to HA is 4 to 1. Well, we look back up at the question. We've got 1 decimeter cubed of HA. So therefore we need 4 decimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide. And that would be the final mark. The question 
based on the hydrogen carbonate system and it's asking us how many moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate should be added to one litre, that's one decimetre, of 0 0.1 moles per decimetre carbonic acid. We've got the Ka and we've got a pH. Pause the video now if you're going to have a go at this before I, I tell you the answer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, very quickly again, if I'm getting to the end of my paper, I'm getting to the end of time, easy marks, look for the pH and convert it into H+. So concentration of hydrogen ions, we do 10 to the minus pH, which gives us 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per decimeter. And we should get a mark there. Next thing we're going to do is that we remember that buffers are all based around the Ka expression, so we'll write that out again just to remind ourselves about it. And we might as well put in the correct formulae. What we're using to remember, HCO3 goes in here and the sodium is not included. And then on the bottom we've got the carbonic acid. So we've got the H+, plus because we've got that over here. We've got the Ka and we've got the concentration of carbonic acid. So we're going to rearrange this equation, which should give us this rearranged equation. And then we need to put the numbers in. So Ka, we are given in the question at the top. Concentration of the hydrogen carbonate is over here. 0.1 and H plus we worked out over here so that's 1 times 10 to the minus 7 which gives us 0.42 moles per decimeter and fortunately because we're working in one decimeter so here remember litre is the same as a decimeter so what we need to add is 0.42 moles and that's our final answer about a ratio. Pause the video now and have a go at this buffers calculation. So if we're being asked about a ratio that should point you to rearranging your Ka expression to look like this. Remember that when you've been given the name of the acid that you're working with, you must put in the formulae into this Ka expression just in case you're getting any method marks for your equation. So, look at this question again then. So we've got ethanoic acid, we've got a Ka value, so let's put that in down here. And then we've got a pH value here. So to get H plus we can do 10 to the minus 5.6 okay so we've got our H plus concentration that again can go down into this expression and then all we need to do is calculate the answer and that's our final answer we've got it's asking us for a ratio and the ratio is 6.93 to 1 of ethanoate iron or sodium ethanoate to ethanoic acid a buffer question that mentions relative proportions. Pause the video now and have a go at this question. Going through this question then, so relative proportions should be directing us to the Ka expression rearranged to give us ratio of salt to acid. 
okay so there is our ratio carrying on we've got a pKa value so we're going to convert that into Ka by doing 10 to the minus 4.19 So there we've got our Ka value. And then it's saying about preparing a buffer solution with a pH of 4.9. So if we've got a pH, we know that we can get H plus by doing 10 to the minus 4.9, which gives us and then all we need to do is substitute those numbers in. And that's our final answer. So the ratio is 5.13 to 1 of the benzoate, of sodium benzoate, to benzoic acid. Here we have an example again based on ethanoic acid. This time we've got the ethanoic acid and we've been told that we've got sodium hydroxide so we should be thinking about neutralising this acid. Pause the video now if you want to have a go before I go through the answer. So in your head you should be thinking about the fact that ethanoic acid is being neutralised by sodium hydroxide in this question forming sodium methanoate and some water. Okay? And the question is how much of the acid is neutralized? Because remember for this to behave as a buffer, the acid has to be in excess and we get partial neutralization. So it's asking us for the pH of the resulting solution. If we've got a buffer, then we know that we start from the Ka expression. So we'll just write that out first of all. Remember that the sodium doesn't go into your buffer equation. So that's our Ka expression. And to get the pH, then we obviously need to find H+. Plus. So we're going to need to rearrange this buffer equation. So we change that around to give us H plus equals Ka times the concentration of the acid over the concentration of the ethanoate ion. So next, all we need to do is to put some numbers in. So if we're going to look at, we're going to look back at this equation at the top. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. So we're saying we've got one decimeter of one mole per decimeter ethanoic acid, which essentially means that we've got one mole of this, and we're going to neutralize that with 0 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now this is a one-to-one -one reaction, so the sodium hydroxide would be the limiting reagent meaning that over on the right hand side we would get 0 0.25 moles of sodium methanoate and the remainder of the acid would be 1 minus 0 0.25 gives us 0 0.75 moles left of the acid that's unreacted. So now we're going to substitute those numbers into our equation which gives us so Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 concentration of the acid, so remaining after this neutralization is 0.75. Concentration of the ethanoate will be 0.25, which gives us an answer of 5.4 times 10 to the minus 5. So we're going to get marks so far. We'll get some marks for calculating these concentrations. Let's say we get one there. We'll get one for this concentration of H plus, and of course it's asked for the pH. So the, mi the final step we're going to do minus log of H plus to give us the concentration. Sorry, to give us the pH, which gives us the pH of 4.27, and that will be our final mark on this question.